All right, welcome back. Presidency warns over alleged plot to overthrow Buhari's government. All right, the presidency on Tuesday warned that it will deal decisively with any group that does anything to undermine the democratically elected government in the country, even if some unruly feathers would be ruffled in the process. The presidency also said that it was ready to keep the country together even if it involves ruffling unruly feathers in the process. The presidency, in a statement issued by the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Chief Femi Adeshina in Abuja, alleged that some persons have planned to hold an illegal conference where a vote of no confidence will be passed on President Muhammad Buhari. It further said that some highly placed individuals in collaboration with some religious leaders and their foreign elements were working hard to undermine the sovereignty and corporate existence of the country. Reacting to the alert earlier raised by the Department of State Services, DSS, the presidency said that Nigerians opted for democratic rule adding that the only acceptable way to change a democratically elected government should be through elections. The statement read the Department of State Services DSS on Sunday alerted on sinister moves by misguided elements to wreak havoc on the government, sovereignty and corporate existence of the country championed by some disgruntled religious and past political leaders. The intention is to eventually throw the country into a tailspin which would compel a forceful and undemocratic change of leadership. Further on impeachable evidence shows that these disruptive elements are now recruiting the leadership of some ethnic groups and politicians around the country with the intention of convening some sort of conference where a vote of no confidence would be passed on the president, thus throwing the land into further turmoil. The cut walling in recent times by this element is to prepare the grounds adequately for their ignoble ignoble intentions which are designed to cause further grief for the country. The agent provocators hope to achieve true artifice and a slight of ends what they failed to do through the ballot box in the 2019 elections. All right, Nigerians have opted for democratic rule and the only acceptable way to change a democratically elected government is through elections which hold at prescribed times in the country. Any other way is patently illegal and even treasonable. Of course, such would attract the necessary consequences. These discredited individuals and their groups are also in Kaut with external forces to cause maximum damage in their own country, but the presidency already vested him mandate and authority by Nigerians till 2023 pledges to keep the country together, even if some unruly feathers would be ruffled in the process. All right, and it has been said that presidency wants over alleged plots to overthrow Buhari's government. Well, I don't understand, but the truth of the matter is a majority of people have been like Buhari should be impeached if the security of the country is not no been is not been taken to a level of stop. Now, majority of people have you know, been pushed to the wall. It has been said that a goat does not bite, but 
by the time you push that goat to the wall definitely it will bite all right and then that's another one meanwhile a lot of things had actually been said onto this one majority of people have actually reacted onto this and then according to josiah moses he says nothing like intelligent information in my country nigeria therefore stop formulating this well owo biri away steven he said that it's better you leave the seats that's what owo biri away has said that it's even better that the president leave that seat we don't even know what you are doing there well bishop joe says well do we need a conference to pass a vote of no confidence on president buhari as alleged by femi additional just go into the market or public places and ask them what they think about this government in performance and find out whether or not there is vote of no confidence all right let the will of god happen nigerians are tired since we have been conquered our hope is now in the hands of the man that is mighty in battle as for the egyptians we are seeing now in this season we shall see them no more all right uh, philip a uh, says well the presidency is the unruly feather that need to be plucked out hmm. and then does he not want to be impeached because all the houses full and is whenever they get whenever they got to power they always brought down nigeria to square one all right and then there is nothing that i cannot hear in buhari's administration which one is presidency every time presidency presidency if you are doing the right thing then why should you be afraid of anybody overthrowing your government all right a lot of things are coming and in fact it's getting more interesting right now as we speak and the majority of people have been able to tell it the way it is well and uh, indeed if you are doing well you don't need to be scared that somebody might want to overthrow you well majority of people if you ask they will definitely tell you that we are tired in fact with what i've been gathered majority of people are like we are tired of this regime we are suffering we cannot wait for this man to be impeached and then as it is according to the uk a farmer funa says nobody is leaving this country we must live by endurance that's what the yoke a famous funa has said unto this one who my brother this one is coming from another man that is angry all right okay and uh, ironically he has been able to say that like this like this so we remain here to be now now vote ahead make on a carry gun all right to oh, and the silver sun says well please quickly remove that imposter from that also rock <laughs> all right well see the truth of the matter is majority of people can't wait they can't wait for this regime to stop yes femi additional is a very foolish idiot this one is coming from lawson uh, to kapan it says well femi additional is a very foolish idiot who doesn't even know what democracy is all about he is talking nonsense just because he is privileged to stay outside nigeria because if he was living in nigeria he would have known that pmb deserves the vote of no confidence five years ago now that stupid man is saying they will deal with those who will say so if he is a democrat well he would he would have known that it is only in a democracy that citizens can meet do appraisal on the government and vote well my people a lot of people have said it all on to this one what more can we say meanwhile let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless